Lego Beyblades are made of Lego. Crazy, I know. Now this means that they are compatible with pretty much any Lego parts you want. You know, for better or for worse, but you can. But I haven't really seen anyone take advantage of this and create some really insanely weird and stupid Lego bays. But as the insanely weird and stupid Lego bay tuber, that changes today. Today I'm going to do one of the first ever Lego Beyblade mods. So let's get started. Our subject for this video is Storm Hydra. The main stamina type Beyblade on my channel, and it's pretty decent. It kind of stinks in some matchups, but in some other ones it can do pretty good. But we're going to mainly focus on the Chassis 1S. This chassis is unique as it doesn't use any brackets at all, giving it a smooth, circular shape. So we're going to rebuild this thing really quick, and the first step is by taking off these gray pieces on top like this. After that, we're going to grab two more of these, and then we're going to place them back onto the chassis like this, instead of like this, how they were before. And then we can get this insane-looking bladed chassis, and this thing is nuts. It's like those fake... Beyblades with the super wide metal blades. Of course, the next step is to put it on and dude, this thing is a monster, dude. It's like a pinwheel with blades on it. And if these blades were metal, that would be crazy, but you know, we do what we can here. Just out of curiosity, let's weigh this Beyblade and it weighs a total of 31.61. So now let's get to the stadium and test this guy out. Look at how it spins, that's gonna be insane. All right, let's go to the stadium. So here we are at the stadium, I have the Beyblade here and this thing is super wide. I can fit it in like, I can barely fit it in the palm of my hand, it's crazy. All right, so yeah, test launch and look at that. It's so, it's docile, but it's so wide as well. It's like intimidating It has terrible stamina though, but whatever. Let's start with an easy opponent. Let's try out Lucifer. Go shoot, there is Lucifer, go shoot, and there is Hydra. So yeah, let's see first contact, see what it's like. Oh, and one of the blades broke off and Hydra just died. That's not a good sign. Go shoot, Lucifer, go shoot, and there is Hydra. Oh my gosh. Jeez, it just exploded. All right, let's try to get some more passive bay. So we have Blaze Taurus here. Go shoot, Taurus, and ah, jeez. Okay, it seems like it's being a little bit more defensive now. Oh, it's so bad. It's so bad, dude. Go shoot. Go shoot. It's acting like the barrier on Lucifer. But like, really bad. Okay. Something that I want to try is to switch out the tip. So let's put something more aggressive on. Let's put hyper. So pretty aggressive, but not too crazy. All right, let's test it against um, Surge Anubis now. Spin steal. Go shoot. Go shoot. All right, let's see. Oh, another piece just flew off. Oh, it was a piece from the bottom of 1S. Okay, interesting. And of course it won. Oh, it came from, it came from the yellow one. Okay, interesting. Go shoot. Go shoot. Oh, all right, there it goes again. <laughs> Okay, so I found another piece. It wasn't the one that flew off, but I have an extra. And I've decided to place a bunch of studs at the bottom of Hydra, so hopefully it won't burst nearly as bad. Go shoot. Curbius. Go shoot. Uh, it's really scary to launch it. Yeah, but then it just will lose all the time. All right, so I've decided to put something on here that's a little bit more aggressive. We got Volcanic now. Uh Right against the newly released wizard arrow go shoot wizard arrow i am afraid ah! oh wait it managed to burst it let's go go shoot all right let's just go for it go shoot so for being less burstable that was actually still a lot more tame than the last break that we got and luckily it's lego we can just put it back together do this thing Okay, that's cool. All right, Cthulhu's in less than, go shoot. And go shoot. Oh, oh, all right, nice. Go shoot, go shoot. Oh wow, Cthulhu's actually managing to tank it. Wow, look at that, all right. Go shoot, let's blast battle, go shoot. This one's kind of lame. It's Volcanic's doing the Volcanic. And it's just gonna die. Alright. 
I want to try one more thing with this. Let's turn Volcanic into the Maiden Heaven Driver by removing the tip and flipping it upside down. And let's see how this thing is going to move. Go shoot. Yeah, it's about what I expected. Let's try it in a battle anyway. Let's put it against, um... Let's do it against Kirbyus again. Go shoot. And... Made in heaven. Yeah, and then it just dies. Alright, cool. Okay, so that was this crazy Hydra 1S mod thing. And I've decided to call this chassis, um... Oh, jeez, right, I forgot. It still has that. I've decided to call it the Blade 1S chassis for very obvious reasons. So, yeah. Comment, like, subscribe, stuff like that. Uh, tell me in the comments what other modifications you want me to do to my base, and I'll see you in the next video.